news now on African Air TV for July the 15th, 2021. Reaching year in Lagos, Nigeria, I am Deborah Eze. The federal government made a total of 3.25 trillion naira in 2020, according to a review of the budget performance of the 2020 Appropriation Act. The review also showed that the federal government spent a total of 2.34 trillion naira on debt servicing within the year. This means that 72% of the government's revenue was spent on debt servicing. It also puts the government's debt servicing to revenue ratio at 72%. Within the year, debt servicing got 2.11 trillion naira. As of March 31, the Debt Management Office puts Nigeria's total debt at 33.11 trillion naira. Out of this figure, 20.64 trillion naira, that is 62.33%, was owed to domestic creditors, while 12.47 trillion naira was owed to foreign creditors. And away from that story, a group of fixed politics has fled the National Assembly for alleged moves to suppress press freedom and democratic voice in the country. In a statement yesterday by its co-chair, Constitutional, Political and Electoral Reforms, Professor Yemi Shonoya and Executive Director Anthony Ubani, the group backed the media against undemocratic tendencies. The Nigerian Guide of Editors, the National or Nigerian Union of Journalists, the Newspaper Proprietors, Association of Nigeria and other civil society bodies that they have equally expressed consternation at this unacceptable development. Meanwhile, recent developments in Nigeria have raised concerns globally about the deteriorating state of press freedom in the country. This includes the harassment and arrest of journalists, the ban of Twitter, the closure of media houses, and imposition of fines due to suppress allegations. <music> In more stories, Cuba has temporarily lifted import duties on food, medicine and other essentials. Following recent unrest as of next Monday, there will be no limits on such goods brought in by travelers until the end of the year. Thousands took to the streets on Sunday in protest over food and medicine shortages, price increases and government handling of COVID-19. One demand they had made was for people arriving in Cuba to provide or bring in supplies without paying custom duties. Dozens have been arrested nationwide since the unrest began on Sunday. Authorities confirmed on Tuesday that one man had died and all unauthorized demonstrations are illegal in the country and anti-government protests are rare. <music> And in the UK, England, Freedom's Day draws near. Excitement at the impending end of COVID-19 restriction is tempered by worries of rising cases and downright fear among the vulnerable. Prime Minister Boris Johnson plans to move England step four, that's the end of legal lockdown curbs, that businesses still close, including nightclubs, can finally reopen. Johnson acknowledges that a wave of infections, when restrictions end and more deaths are inevitable, but said worse harm would come from keeping the economy short and a successful vaccine rollout has caught the number of serious cases. And the sports, Lionel Messi came close to departing the NOU camp last summer after handling in a transfer request. Boy could have only left if a 700 million euros release clause was met by another club. Argentina forward salary will be reduced by 50% on the terms of New Deal. The six time Ballon d'Or winner was officially a free agent as of July 1st after he failed to agree to terms over a renewal before his previous Barcelona contract expired on June 30th. And that's all we can take on African news. For more stories, you can visit us on our website on africanian.tv. Follow us on all our social media platforms on Join Team and Pangram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, drop a comment for us in the comment section. I'm Deborah Eze. Thanks for watching. <music>